All right, I saw two movies today. The first movie was Shit. Huh? It's an indie movie. Um, I saw that this is, this is a movie about a guy who's yeah, they call him Uncle, but is he really an uncle? I'm, I'm not sure. They're trying to save our find his niece as she gets kidnapped. I saw this had a 3.7 on a letterbox out of 5. The videos might be good because any movies don't get inflated <laughs> like they do when I meet. Um, uh, my big, the, the, the story structures, how the movie structures is three parts, but there aren't officially three parts, is so awkward. Like the part before the kidnapping takes forever and I truly mean forever they like set up stuff that ultimately does not matter oh well, like the man or the or actually there's like actually no like she steals magic pens it's better barely they referenced that once and it's oh, it's ultimately pointless <laughs> but, like they said they it's just set up some stuff that the kidnapper uses, like the checks, the phone games, but it goes on so long. I'm like, get on with it. <laughs> I didn't say that out loud because okay, this will be stupid. This one couple came in like 20 to 30 minutes after the movie started. I'm not even kidding. I mean, I didn't know the exact time, but it, was, it felt like around that. But yeah, it goes on and on. By the time the intermission happens, because uh, inter indie movies have like intermissions. But not actually intermissions in the America theaters, but you can tell. <laughs> the, the kidnapping started shortly before the intermission. Because the first part just went on and on for no reason. It was very boring, very tiring. And also, the movie's so not creative. It's just like a generic fight kidnapping movie. Like, uh. Also, the, 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 I would say the third part is most interesting. It involves the aspects that he captured. There was that this bo interesting moral dilemma of, like, the guy should go hunt for the... Because it wasn't sure... I'm, I'm about to... I'm doing spoilers. Um, the hunt for the killer, because the, cause the one that showed up the court case wasn't the actual killer. Not killer, what am I saying? Uh, kidnapper? And that that moral dilemma was, like, stops? <laughs> like, the movie stopped when I thought it was going to keep going. Uh, I'll admit, I really like the ending. Where it shows the kidnapper would... <laughs> was killed, but as Prince Love says, anyone could have killed him. But I'll let you decide if the main character actually killed him or not. That was a really good end. That's a really good ending. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, uh, this movie needed a rewrite. It was awkwardly awkwardly structured. Uh, yeah, and I'm gonna one a 5 out of 10. The second movie I saw was Expend Four Bulls. This is a fourth Expendables movie. I've never seen the first three. I won't. I just know these sucked, and my god, this movie was bore. This movie was insanely boring and cringy because the humor was dumb. Like, this is just... <laughs> it's action, really dumb humor. There's like... It was... <laughs> that's it. There's literally nothing to this movie. Oh, there's a stupid... Tw there's one... There's a really dumb twist. So the whole conflict the movie started, because the Sylvester Stallone character, like, dies, and they, like, went of, and, like, the crest goes out to avenge him, and then it turns out he fakes his death. <laughs> why would you write that? It's just, why would you write that? <laughs> it, it's so stupid. Like, he put the, the rain on some other guy to make it look like he was killed. It's probably so that he wouldn't hunt for him, but it's, ugh. So stupid. I just. Oh my god! It was so. I like. I cringe. That was. That that was really the entire motivation for the plot, and it was it was nothing. Great. <laughs> what a stupid movie. There's nothing to this movie. Four out of ten. No pun intended. Um. Next movies. Um. So Sunday, Monday, I'm seeing stuff. Sunday, I'm going to see... There's this anime movie called, I think, Blue Jazz. Yeah, I think that's the name. Something starts with blue and involves jazz. I think that was it. Um, that's supposed to be pretty good. It's distributed by G-Kids, and G-Kids does a good job picking movies to distribute, so... Yeah, I have high hopes for that one. And then Monday's the mystery movie. What did I plan to... See? Oh, yeah, I'm going to see the creator 
in a haunting in Venice. I was, I, or I could use Saw Patrol. <laughs> I don't want to see Saw Patrol in theaters. I'm too scared to. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, or maybe I don't know. We'll see you.